Cheers. Welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict. And today, you join me on the banks of the River Trent at Collingham near Newark. We're on for a 48 hour session and we're gonna be doing a bit of barbell hunting. So the river's quite tidal here. Um, so I've got two big rods set up. They're both carp rods. Normally I'd fish a 225 barbell rod, a uh, 15 pound line with a 5,000 bait runner. But today we've got the 10,000 bait runners on, uh, 2.75 pound carp rods and again 15 pound big game line so it sounds excessive but the river really pulls through here the barbel fight hard and you need that gear on to get them out leads wise i've got a six ounce feeder on the left hand rod and i've got an eight ounce lead on the downstream rod and we're fishing a pellet on that one at the moment and we've got a maggot bunch on the clip on the top rod feeding through the ground bait feeder with hemp pellet and maggots i'm also joined by jk the one and only cat bagging machine from Catville Doubles. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you go and watch it. I'll put a link to it up here in the description. And while we're at it, uh, if you enjoy these videos, then don't forget, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video every time I upload one. With all that said, let's get some fishing done. Stay tuned. So this is the rig guys, we've got a Coram running rig kit on here, great big 6 ounce feeder, that's onto a 3 foot hook length, the small maggot clip at the moment on this rod uh, with 6 or 7 maggots, just trying to pick up pretty much anything, maybe a small barbel or two, but, or even the chub. It's early days at the moment, fishing throughout the day, generally I don't expect to catch that many barbel. Um, so just fishing the maggots at this moment in time they can still work at night but you do get a lot of nuisance fish on them so we'll probably swap out to boilie or something of that nature or a bigger pellet because the flow tends to whittle the pellets away so if you're leaving them in for any period of time then you want a good solid bait on there that's uh, hardy it's a big old weight to cast is this Bit runner on. Babble number one. Yeah. Let's get him back. A good rest. John. Hello. What we what have we got here? Carnage. Carnage. <laughs> Is this a shop for every fish? Yeah, definitely. We'll so, fits back in at night. Shop for everyone. Cool. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Cheers. Salud. Salud. <laughs> Go on, John. Run on. Another sambuke. John's in again. Never 
until I break down. Even the small ones fight so hard. So we've got a bit of a deal going on now. Every fish results in a Sambuca shot for the pair of us. Which is probably not a good idea, but... That's Babel fishing on the trend. <laughs> Because uh, you're on the car and 13 foot rod there, John. And I like them. Oh, I quite fancy it there. Car and fancy giving me myself. <laughs> but if not, I'll just buy some. Head shirk here, yeah. What, what bait is that one, John? Sauce again. So, uh, John fishing the sauce mini boiling. The fish I've just had out at uh, £5.7, so to a sauce 15 mil. They do like the sauce in the trend, don't they? Not as much as we do. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. There uh, she comes. You're the, you're the rod there, pal. Left or right? Yes! Get, Get in there, Johnny boy! I'm going to knock it in the net, I think. Same, oh no, it's a decent fish that. Decent fish. That's way bigger than five and a half. That's looking more like seven or eight to me, that job. Well, this is going to be fun. Two shot glasses. John's putting the fish back. And I'm going back to the van. Yeah, Sambuca Sambuca. Don't know, he has been dragged in by this priest. Small one. Seven. Yeah, seven's alright, won't we? That looks a good one. Yeah. It looks a good, not a good buddy, but yeah, it's uh, definitely. Oh yes, oh, that's close on the double, mate. Right guys, so it's the second day down on the Trent. Uh, we had a bit of a messy night last night. I had way too many Sambucas. Um, stopped catching fish and just started drinking really. But uh, yeah, I still managed to pull out a £7.7 seven fish this morning at 5am, despite the hangover. So I was uh, kind of regretting it at that point. Definitely won't be doing that again tonight. Um, John's not had any more fish right now, but... Uh, Hopefully, you know, we'll get a few more today and see how it goes.
the weather's absolutely glorious down here uh, it might make the fishing a little bit harder today you know bright sunshine and babble generally don't mix so we might not get anything until the evening so with that in mind I've switched down onto maggot rigs again and uh, I've got pellet on the other rod two of the fish I've taken so far have been taken on the 15 mil sauce boily and the smaller one was taken on a dumbbell sauce boily we were told by the bailiff when we got down here that boilies weren't working maggots and small ones were not where to go but that theory's gone out the window I've not had any babble on the maggots so far boily doing the damage right guys it's uh, 10 to 8 in the evening we've not had any runs at all today we've had a couple of days out on the maggots but that's been about it it's been really quiet it's a very very hot day it's still you know really hot right now I'm still in my shorts um, I'm contemplating you know putting something on shortly but it's still really really muggy so it's not been ideal barbell fishing weather at all um, both rods are now swapped out got an eight ounce lead on both rods now uh, boily on each of them sauce on one and a solar baits chili club on the other and I've tipped that off with a yellow piece of corn so fingers crossed we're gonna get some barbell out tonight John still had the one fish I've still had the three um, yeah so there's not much more to report been no action at all and uh, we're just waiting for it to cool down and hopefully the fish to move in and move over a bit of the feed that we've put down through the day fishing the maggots so hopefully I'll see you in the middle of the night right guys that's it unfortunately we haven't had any more fish overnight a couple of lads come on up above us and they've absolutely filled the river in they've just been balling it in when they're not even good balls have been like floating down river and sending fish all over so we've not even had a sniff at all me and John last night so we're a bit cheesed off this morning so we're packing up now it's seven o'clock in the morning and we're calling it a day uh, at least we've had three good fish out uh, well I've had three good fish out and uh, and John's had a bit of nice fish as well so you know it's a shame we didn't get a few more out but it's not fishing very well down here at the moment and when you get a couple of people come on above you and just absolutely fill the river in it's never going to do it any favors so confidence is right down now but anyway if you enjoyed the video you know please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time i upload one until the next one guys thanks for watching and tight lines